Hello all, I'm going to be showing you how to create a bunk bed today, castle bunk bed. I started with um, six sheets of MDF and basically just going to be using regular hand tools, skill saw, clamps, T-square, square, tape measure, and uh, power or electric drill. And uh, I'm going to be making this in my garage I got to pre-assemble it because it has to be built in a few different pieces to fit into or through the doorways into the room. So here you can see I've created the frame for the bed and the end as well as a bench that will be sitting underneath the bench in the end um, for my daughter to sit at. The second part I did was the stairway that would take you up to the height of the bunk bed, which is four foot two. Uh, this stairwell has five steps and would take you up to the top of the bed. This is the end cupboard um, that uh, is going to basically be one of the towers at the end of the princess bed. And uh, in here there's three shelves uh, just for storage. Once I had the three main pieces made, I started painting all of the accessories. So I've got the two drawers there, um, some blocks to make the wall look like a castle wall, as well as the bars that will be used in the stairwell. And all the pink pieces will be the top of the castle to make it look more uh, like a castle, decorative. And you can see here the door as well um, for the stairwell and the door for the cabinet. So I've got the basic unit sitting there uh, with the stairs and uh, everything's all cut out and ready to go upstairs. Um, so I have to just disassemble everything now. It's all got a coat of paint on it and I'll assemble it in the room. It took a couple of days to get to this point. So here it is assembled in the room and you can see the tower, the cabinet tower and the stairwell attached to the front. And then there's the little doorway with the curtains that uh, go to the play area and bench underneath the bed. I'll take you on a little tour uh, so you can see everything uh, put together. This is a, just want to say this is a queen size bed, so it's probably taking up a little more room than if it was just a double. Um, but the queen size bed gives you a lot more area underneath. Um, because it's almost double the size of a standard child's bed. So you have the stairwell here and I've got the bars on the side as well as the blocks to make it look like a castle wall. Um, those bars also double as a handrail so the child can grab onto the bars there on the way down the stairs just to support themselves. Here's the stairs. There's four steps and the top two steps have drawers underneath. And uh, here's a picture of what is supporting the stairs. And uh, these stairs were all supported each one and I put a cross brace under where the two drawers are just so that you can step on the front edge. Um, and I'll just show you under the mattress here. Uh, it's just basically one by six cedar screwed down to the top of the two by four frame. And then that frame is screwed into the stairs to keep it more stable. And my daughter's actually got a, another three inch piece of memory foam on top of the mattress. Um, you can see the decorative pieces on the top here just screwed on uh, after the fact uh, just to make it look more like a castle. And again there's the 
the handrails she can use to go down the stairs just by grabbing onto those uprights. I've uh, made the top edge of the uh, tower to be a side table. So I've cut that uh, front away just so that it's more like a side table. She can put all her um, stuffies and tissues and whatnot up there. And I've cut that side of the cabinet away also underneath so we can pass things through or put uh, build treasures in there for her. You can see me here um, just showing you the clearance even with an adult sitting up there. Um, it's got 29 inches from the roof to the top of the bed when you sit on it and it actually squishes down a little bit more so you get a little bit more clearance there. Uh, she usually doesn't bang her head but if they jump up and down they might. Uh, so there's the what we call the prison. I uh, tried to make it look like a little prison so that uh, we could put her in there and tell her that she has to go to prison instead of bed. Um, and then I'll uh, just give you a little preview here of uh, the latch that I've got on the door. Uh, it's just a magnet catch, just to keep the door shut. On the cabinet, you can see there's the pass through so that we can put things in there and she can grab them from the bedside. And then I've got uh, three shelves in that unit as well. These shelves just uh, like your typical shelf, they just lift up so you can adjust them to whatever height you want. And again, I just got a magnet catch on that door as well. And just three little gate hinges um, on that door as well as the door to the um, stairs. Around the back side, she already had this um, dresser. So I made the dresser fit in between the wall and the cabinet. Um, so that she could still have that dresser. I'm probably going to put a shelf on that part, pink part there as well, so that uh, she can have another space there for her to put her stuff on, just on the other side of her pillow. So I'll take you underneath now through the curtains and uh, you can see what Chloe's castle looks like underneath. Uh, this underneath part is where she plays. Uh, it's got a, like I said earlier, it's got a blackboard um, on one end and uh, we just put these curtains here just to make it so it's a little bit more private for her. And then on this other end here, she's got the bench or work, work surface. And the work surface has just got the little bookcase at the end where she's got her radio and all her um, coloring supplies. It's just bolted through each end of the little work surface so that I could bring it up separately and it just bolts into the stairwell on the other end. This end here is just the two by four frame again and uh, each corner has got a two by four holding it up. And I'll show you this picture of the bracket um, of how I um, supported the bed so it couldn't fall off. I've got these two supports here uh, in each corner. And it was just to stop the bed from wobbling back and forth um, when I was building it. And I could have taken them off, but I didn't mind them, so I just left them on. And this blackboard is just painted on here. Um, it's just a special paint you can buy. So I sanded down the MDF so it was nice and smooth, painted a few coats, sanding in between. And it turned out quite well. and got this little shelf just for the eraser at the chalks at the bottom here. So again, there's the bracket, was one in each corner and just basically screws the frame to the legs um, so that it can't uh, fall off the top edge because it's only sitting on a, a two by four there. The whole thing is screwed to the stairs um, and you can see here just the one by six that uh, hold the mattress up and they're just sitting on top of that two by four frame. So one other thing I was going to show you um, 
is underneath here. She's got uh, 49 inches, so even me sitting on a chair, I still have a couple of inches of clearance. Um, and it allows her to completely walk around underneath there. Uh, she's seven and she's only 47 inches tall, so it gives her a couple inches. I'm sure in a couple of years that's not going to be tall enough and she can have to duck just like I do. Uh, I also built these little cup holders here so that she could put all her pens and pencils and bring them out one at a time. And uh, one's got pencils and pens and one's got um, uh, markers and pencil crayons. And you can see the heart there. I just cut that out of the door and screwed it on just as a decorative piece. And the other thing I wanted to show was I've made this little sort of hiding spot uh, underneath the stairs just because it was an open area. So I thought I'd cut a hole and make it like a secret hiding place. Uh, she can go if she wants to hide from her friends or, or whatever. And it's something that she might only know about. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, please like this video if uh, you enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them down below and subscribe as I do have more projects that you may be interested in. So uh, thank you very much, have a good day.